anyway, uh, yeah, Ian uh, came to our office about um, three years ago with a, a box of uh, some of the most beautiful photographs I've ever seen. Asked if I could go over to his place and have a look at his archive, see what else we could do. And we, we looked at stuff and uh, it was the most wonderful experience I'd ever had because, you know, every five minutes he goes, oh, I've honestly got a shoebox up in the attic, you know, and then all this amazing art comes out. It's never been seen before. It was dusty and all things. And, and anyway, after a lot of work of um, making prints and, and scans and stuff, I managed to put together this incredible, beautiful book. So I'm going to hand over to this big, beautiful artist. Thank you. When I first got together, all I'd say is, yeah, when we first got together, we were thinking an idea. We thought about doing a, a, a seaside book because of the history of my history of starting with, with the seaside. But you know, and we had this conversation: why is the seaside in Britain so? Special. Why is it so kind of you know? It's not like I mean, let's face it. Wayne is not like Cannes or Nice, is it? It's not like the Riviera. There's this sort of quality of Britishness and the the, the end of the pier melodrama, as I call it. I, I really love that Britishness and that kind of I don't know. Um, we're we're bawdy. There's a sort of you know we're aggressive, dark, um, but very individualistic. It's that sort of sense of rebel, the British sort of, I don't know. I think there's a poetry in our kind of slightly bawdy, tacky aggressiveness that's, um, that is beautiful. And so, you know, so to, I'm just redefining for myself anyway or what beauty is, you know, and it's not a picture postcard. It's, um, you know, it's just my view and it's just uh, my diary over 35 years. Um, and that's going to be enough, I think. I've rattled on long enough. But thank you for coming, and um, yeah.